Well, I'm back on the move today, but luckily I'm not going very far. Callie's coming into town tomorrow, so we're going to a bigger spot just up the road in Ubud, and I'm really excited to go check it out and for her to get here for, and for us to start exploring. So let's get the day started. <laughs> Well, I thought the other places I stayed were good, but check this place out. place being so stunning it has absolutely everything I need it has great Wi-Fi so I'm really excited to have some easy uploads and it has a kitchen and they actually have a staff member that comes and cooks you breakfast every morning so I feel very lucky and as you can see we are extremely secluded out here among the beautiful rice terraces there actually is not even a road it's this little path that I'm walking on and Basically, there's no way that you're getting a car out here. It's motorbikes only, and it is so quiet. Even co in comparison to the place that I stayed most recently, which was also secluded, this is on a whole nother level. Look at how far the rice terraces go behind me. You can't even see the next buildings that direction. It's so, so fantastic. So I'm very excited to stay here for a couple days, and it actually feels like you've gone from traveling to more of a vacation vibe. So I have just been taking it really easy today, nice and relaxing. And in a little bit, I'm gonna fly the drone so you can see this beautiful area. I don't know if you can tell though, it is kind of a stormy day if you look up. Very cloudy out and it rained a little bit earlier, but not too hard. So. I'm praying for uh, it to clear up a little bit and maybe we'll get some cool colors for sunset and I'm gonna fly the drone then. One last thing I have to say about the place is that they actually have mosquito countermeasures here, which I really appreciate. They have uh, kind of an incense thing that's burning and then they have a unit that you plug into an outlet and it actually keeps the mosquitoes away. So that is awesome because we are staying next to the rice terraces and I assume, again, that there are probably a million mosquitoes once the sun starts to go down. today but what I did instead was plan for the future of the trip because now that I have good Wi-Fi I was able to actually do so I just booked a bunch of flights and I'm really excited because I'm gonna go a ton of new places and see a ton of new things so there's gonna be great content to come when I ate lunch today I was at a warung and they're kind of like food stalls uh, and they come in many shapes and sizes so uh, the one I was at was essentially a restaurant, but technically it's a warung, uh, whereas some of them I've eaten at are kind of more like a traditional food stall, food cart type thing. I was speaking with the owner and he was telling me that in being classified as a warung and not a restaurant, they're able to forego charging sales tax that would go to the government. So the price that you see on the menu is the price that you pay 
and I've actually only had good experiences at Warung's. I've probably eaten at Warung's 90% of the time, unknowingly until today, and they've just been fantastic. I've had probably the best food at them as well. So I am gonna keep doing that, and uh, let's go get some dinner. Well, I am back at where I had lunch today. This place is called Warung Made Sayan, and I ordered Pepe's Ayam, which is a traditional Balinese dish uh, with chicken wrapped in banana leaf and cooked with lemongrass. It was recommended to me by the owner and I'm really excited to try it because it'll be different than anything I've had so far. A little bit more of a full course meal and I'm just really excited to have a nice dinner. Well that Balinese lemongrass is no joke. The flavor is so powerful but it's so delicious and I love how everything here comes with these red peppers that just give you that punch because I love spicy. And so Indonesia is perfect for me. But it's been a great day. It's gonna be a better day tomorrow because Cali comes to town. So I'll see you then.